All right, so today is Earth Day. A very popular day for dinosaurs, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, if only Earth Day would last forever, we'd be in good shape. So today, we had some uh, good shopping orders. A uh, big one you're going to see is I did a, uh, a grocery run on Instacart and tried to do a speed run. So hopefully there's some tips in there. There's tips here that will help you. And so let's enter the Gigaverse. All right, folks, heading into HEB to do a 51 item shop. I'll be switching on the other camera so you get a view of what we got. But just to give you a quick look at uh, what you see, there's no aisle numbers. Uh, you know, the sort order is pretty bad inside Instacart for this. They've got, you know, fruits and veg mixed all over the place. But I know the store, I know the area. You see the, t the clock is giving me 58 minutes to, reach the car to do it. I am saying I might do this in half an hour, 35 minutes, somewhere in that range, we'll see. Around the produce aisle, let's get some bananas. We want one bunch. All right, I'm trying to get a mix between the green and the yellow, not too ripe and not too underripe. Let's get a measure on that. Are asking too many questions. Okay. Bring us down. Okay, they want some mini red peppers, which I was having a problem finding. Walk around in a circle. Prepackaged stuff over here and see if it happens to be anywhere here. No. Nope. No. Nope. I'm going to pause while I ask a, uh, one of the workers who could probably help me find it. Making our way around to the cheese area. Got to get this cheddar cheese. Making decent time. Nine items, ten minutes. That's a little bit slower than I'd like to be, but it's usually produce areas where you get, get tied up a lot. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar. Thin sliced. Hey. Bread coming up. And it's not white bread. A lot of the Instacart descriptions it just says round top white bread, right? Which they're small, there's large, there's many. So the picture helps in some of those scenarios. Okay. Some rice area, uh, energy drinks are going to be farther away. Just sorting through the list. You guys can see this list will go in no order. That's the good part of Instacart, at least for my store. Some stores, uh, other stores I've been in, actually have the aisle numbers and everything, but you know, in this particular one, we can see it has nothing. But we're in the pasta aisle, which is where I needed to be for some Rao's rigatoni front of me yeah. and then we needed pasta sauce rouse rouse arabiata arabiata 24 ounce okay a lot of stuff is in the spice aisle so I might want to hit that next. There's a little bit of frozen, some sugars, some sodas, eggs. Scramble kit all American. It's like a game for me. 
You know, how fast can I spot something? Uh, canned tomatoes. I didn't see any of that. Here are spices. Here's where a lot of stuff was. Right out the gate. Paprika. Okay. And then Instacart. Even though I already scanned it. There it is. It's, it's there again. And you click on it. Yeah. Gotta fix the app, guys. Gotta fix the app. A lot of little bugs like that that didn't used to exist. Seems like every time they update the app, they break something. Which slows us down. See, black peppercorn grinder is still there. Right? Nope. And then see how they really the spices should all have been sorted together. Look at how we're just scrolling through looking for needle in a haystack. Now we're looking for salt. Okay. And this is the pepper area. So we're gonna go back down. There's some salt area right in front of me. See the salt grinder. And that time I took that one off. Oh, there's, there's some eggs. <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff that'll slow you down. Is you'll be scrolling through a list of bigger items and the app is completely messed up in the order that it's sorting things in. So I probably missed something in that aisle. I did. There's some brown sugar, which should be in the same same spice aisle could be on the next aisle. No, it's here. There's Imperial Sugar, the light one. Okay, let's go back to the eggs. Kit ultimate it was right next to my other one. So if they just had put it right in the same sort area, <laughs> that wouldn't happen. I wouldn't have had to come back. Chicken. So my mistake. It came from produce, which was right up to chicken. I should have just gone to the chicken. All right, so we're gonna get that. A few other things, and we'll catch back up. Let's see the clock. All right, we picked up a little bit. So 19 done in 15 minutes. We got 30 items left. I want to touch on this because I know a lot of people go into the meat aisle and the poultry aisle and all of that kind of stuff and they don't bag the meats. <laughs> That's a thing that can kill your tip and also get you a bad rating. So you want to bag your poultry. Right. So here's just a little example. Instacart says dry goods and pasta for these rice things. And I was just on the pasta aisle and it's not going to be there. Right? There's a rice aisle. So <laughs> another can't get instacart to uh, you know if they would fix some of this you know it could really help you out as a, as a shopper but i get it trying to find all these things in the various stores could be a problem i'm looking for uncle ben's long grain wow i got that whole grain brown yeah. off let's hit the dairy area where there's eggs and milk because there's some eggs and milk in this in this uh, order I don't want eggs and really should check them <laughs> don't just grab any old eggs let's do let's do the egg check Nothing seems broken there. Those are acceptable. Let's scan it, and we're good. Try to keep your eggs and the bread the top here of the basket so you're not smushing everything. All right, we are now 20 items done in 25 minutes. Oh, yay! One of my favorites. And now we're looking for oats and strawberries so you gotta love that you got flakes with strawberries 
and you would hope they would put yotes and strawberries with that one but you know here you go here you go want some more strawberries start to announce yet yeah. yeah let's go get some popcorn who doesn't love a good bag of popcorn and it's movie theater butter oh wow that's, that's the good stuff okay usually they label the aisle and i don't see it been to this one before but i don't remember where the popcorn is uh, it's here there you go of course what we're looking for is down there okay there you go there, seems like a lot of stuff is in the cleaning aisle and laundry aisle Raw cooking spray. There you go. Another one that's not sorted. So we go to the oil area. Should be here. I can already see it. Canola. Olive oil. Oh, crash on that. 15. Gain. Laundry pods. Toilet paper, Gatorade, that's going to be in sports drinks, which I think is over here somewhere. And energy drinks may be here too. We'll see. pulled the charging cable away my phone's dying so I had to do that so here's some energy drinks but the particular brand she's looking for I happen to know in this store is probably up in the front it's called Alani Ayalani yeah I'm pretty sure it's up at the front so a little wasted gap there but we did need a bottle of Canada Dry Which Let's see. Oh no. Probably all the way down towards the end. Or they'll probably be out of it. There you go. No, they're not. Delani was going to be there's a healthy living area in my part in my store in this HEB and so yeah yeah don't put this in the uh, energy drink area let's let's put it this is healthier than the other ones supposedly it's all about marketing get yourself in this aisle and it's an extra dollar per item <laughs> <laughs> Next thing will be the the uh, some protein chicks, and so yeah, you you they should all be up here in healthy living, right? Yeah, but it's not the right kind. So here's one we already don't see. Oh, it might help if it was uh, Premier Protein. <laughs> I'm looking at less enough. There's one of my stupid. All right. So I'm well above the time that I was estimating. By 10 minutes so far. 44 minutes. And I've got three items left. 
couple of replacements, a couple of communication with customers. So just things like that can throw your entire shop off. So we're looking for some Simply Steam area, which should be over here. Mediterranean blend. Private Canerve. I'm just blind. The other place to look is on this on that area. Here's Mediterranean blend. Sometimes you have to go to the shelf. <laughs> if you if you got your blind, oh this sweet corn, this stuff's good. Just the honey roasted sweet corn. That stuff's good. Okay, so bird's eye. Power blend. Over there. Southwest stuff. Alright. Okay, 45 minutes. All right. 50 items, 45 minutes, a little under a minute per item. Uh, probably, I guarantee it was six or seven minutes of throwing in back and forth with the customer. So that gives you an idea. Now I haven't even checked out yet. Right? So imagine the Instacart payout on this by itself, I think it was seven or eight dollars. Okay. So without the customer's tip, this is, a, this is not an order you take. The employees inside this store who are personal shoppers are shopping for pickup, right? curbside pickup. They're being paid $15 an hour. Okay? So you're using your own car, you're using your own, you know, everything. And you can see Instacart is just not cutting it in here. Customer's tip is all it is. So let me get through the checkout and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, we're heading out to the car. Basket full. So you can see how much stuff is in here. So this order was $24, right? which is not super bad. I mean, $24 is a pretty decent amount, but yeah, it's the middle of the day also. So, you know, not as many batches were out there, but during the dinner rush on food delivery, it's not uncommon to get a stack of $24 for four or five miles. You just pick it up food and, and hand it off. Right? So you can see this. I mean, this literally was a shop that was the entire store. It wasn't like you went to one section and you were done. I must have touched on probably every aisle in the store for something, including the pet aisle, including the healthy living area, dairy, produce, meats, cereals, canned goods, uh, bread, the bakery. Uh, yeah, so it's not like a few items you grabbed from a little part of the store and you're good to go. This was everywhere in the store. So I've been doing this quite a while and uh, you know, so I knew where a lot of things were in the store. If you were a new shopper, I don't see how you'd get this thing done in 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes of the shop. Now waiting in line was another 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm in at about an hour now, right? And I'm just loading up my car. So it'll probably take me another half an hour to take this and drop it off. By the way, this is an, in an apartment complex. So there's your next clue of, uh, you know, anybody who does delivers to those know those usually take much more time. And notice there's a case of water, right? So if it's on the second floor, that'll be getting carted up. Right? So, I mean, I took the order, right? I, just because I took it doesn't mean I can not comment on it, right? I was bored, sitting around, you know, need a little exercise, wanted to go to the store. I like to shop. So that's one thing to learn about me. I like to shop. It's a game to me. And these apps are addicting. <laughs> That's why my name is Gigaholic Rex. They're addicting. I saw a $24 order pop up. I didn't look at the number of items that much. I just saw that the mileage was pretty low. So I took it. Normally you should be, and in my market, that $24 order usually wouldn't sit there for more than you know, 10 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds. That's the point, right? Even if nobody takes it, what Instacart does is they'll take it off the board because they want to give you the impression that there's no work there. So you got to take whatever pops up. That's not the case. You got to know your worth, right? You got to work smarter, not harder. I mean, you see the level of effort going into this particular job and I'm providing excellent customer service. I look for everything for this particular person. I communicated with them. Um, I got every item. There was literally one thing I had to refund or I didn't even refund, I replaced. Uh, they wanted some soap, they didn't have the particular brand, and I got them to do the other brand. So, every other item was retrieved. Yeah. 
and the customer tipped decently for this order again the biggest problem is instacart in this scenario right uh, a year ago this batch pay for this job from instacart would have been 15 dollars or higher right so it's as bad as an apartment complex housing development area but there's like groups of three in each one so and of course my number is not facing the street and is nowhere near where i'm standing right now which is where of course instacart's gps took me so a little searching here we go all right so you can see it's of course it's not anywhere near the curb <laughs> and this is my first walk right? the farthest along away from the street Okay, so I gotta carry a case of water and 25 pounds. I get dog food over here. Alright. So. Hence why you really gotta look at the orders before you take it. Right. Like I said, it's my workout for the day. But if you don't like to carry heavy water and heavy dog food, I don't watch what you're doing on Instacart. It may say heavy pay when you're looking at the order, but most people, you don't have time to even analyze what you're seeing, right? So to me, this is a very bad order. Now, imagine I see ones come up on the board that are just like this for $7, no tip. And while you think somebody's taking them, that's not always the case. Like I said, Instacart algorithm pop something up there for you to see all right it keeps it there for you know 20 30 seconds and then removes it your first interpretation is oh somebody took that no not always if you watch the board a lot of you guys can see it comes right back bundled with somebody else right but usually what they will do is they won't uh they won't put something that's got way too many items together in a bundle yeah so this one i i could yeah i wouldn't be surprised if they bundled this with another order you know two no tip because sure, this one tipped right so they bundled it with another one who's a no tipper who's you know five or six items and i see those a lot so this is the second trip to the door And I've still got two more. So if you're looking to get your steps in for the day, you're going to get them. <laughs> so I've delivered to this same complex before. It's a pretty upscale apartment complex, housing complex. And my tips are usually, you know, like I said, food delivery, it's 18%. I don't want to let stuff spill out, so try and keep stuff at least looking a little decent. Okay. 